Hi! So a lot has happened since uh, last time we uploaded anything to YouTube. Biggest thing actually being we moved. So you've probably heard of COVID-19. 2020 might not have been the best year to start life as a digital nomad, um, but we're making the best of that. Really doesn't matter. We didn't have a super long-term plan anyway, so we were kind of going to wing it regardless. Um, we're having to rethink a little bit, right? We already had to. Uh, I mean, we started off in part Portugal. Um, we were going to go to Italy. That didn't happen during the spring. And then we've kind of been stuck, quote-unquote, uh, up in the Arctic parts of Sweden. And um, that's not all that bad. It's actually really cool. We've gotten to really immerse ourselves in the uh, in the very northern parts of Sweden and the culture here uh, and the climate and everything else, which is kind of cool in itself. Uh, we've always kind of kept the, our plans really open un open ended and not really planned at all. Kind of like having a six month period where it's all right, we're doing this, and then that's a floating six month plan. Um, but that. <sighs> doesn't really work right now either um we kept we kept saying that like uh, we'll, we'll be here until well pick a time uh, first time we came up in the spring we said we'll be here until summer summer 2020 uh and then we went south in sweden did a bunch of other things and then we realized we can't really go anywhere in europe actually anywhere in the world so we went back up uh and we told everybody and ourselves and the kids uh, we'll be here until uh, fall break in November. Well, that kind of came and went. And then we kind of started thinking, all right, what about to uh, like this semester? So until New Year's. And looking at that now, it's like, nah, that's not going to work either. That's, that's not just optimistic. It's probably a stupid plan. So we're kind of figuring, all right, we'll be here a while. We'll be here probably until summer 2021 and we'll make sure to do some excursions from here and if we can we'll do those international excursions otherwise we'll just kind of stick somewhat local to here uh, regardless though um, it kind of opens up a different aspect for us where we need to figure out um, a different ah, different way of living but not really because we've kind of already settled in here kids are in school I think the kids like the idea that we've uh, told them that all right we'll We'll be here a little longer. We'll be here until summer. They enjoy going to school here, so I think they're happy about that as well. So since we're going to be here um, for a longer period, we kind of started looking around at different options of living. Um, there aren't many houses. It's not, I mean, this isn't a real city. There might be a hundred some houses here in the first place, so it's not like there's the there's a, an abundance of rental properties. Um, and we were renting, as you know, we've been renting from uh, Erica's sister and, uh, well, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. Um, and they've been really nice to let us kind of stay at their cabin and rent that from them. Uh, but it's it's really off. Ah, I don't know. Everything is not, I mean, there's no, there's nothing here. Let's put it that way. There's nothing here. And that cabin is even further out in the woods than anything else. Which means that when the snow now starts piling on, we're going to get stuck with having to, well, the whole snow removal procedure. How do, you, how do I move two feet of snow that dumped during the night um, manually <laughs> the 150 meters out to the road? That's going to be a pain. And as you know, that house didn't really have running water. We only had running water in the bathroom to wash our hands. Everything else was me carrying um, big jugs of water. That, 20, I think they're 25 kilos, 25 liters, which is kilos, um, of water. And that kind of, that becomes an interesting problem as well, right? It, we'll do another episode on how easy it was to get used to living um, like that in a, in a cabin with, with no water. Um, we'll talk about that later. But we kind of figured that, hey, what other options do we have? We actually moved to a house in the little town where the kids go to school. And we're renting from one of the personnel that works at the school. Uh, she has, I, I actually more than this, she's got a couple of houses on her plot of land. And one of them uh, she rents out. Usually it's like an Airbnb rental situation, uh, sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, obviously there's not much of that going on anyway. So uh, she was more than happy to rent it out to us on a more of a month to month basis. So we're doing that. <laughs>
interestingly, the three girls, it's fun to see how the girls react to a move again. I mean, we're getting used to moving. Annabelle really doesn't know anything else. So in her mind, the question isn't really like, why are we moving? It's more, when are we moving? It's like, that's what we do. Um, Claire is kind of like me. We're really, we really enjoy life wherever we are. And then we're really quick to start like, oh, this is our new place. This is home. This is good. Which also means that we have a hard time like letting go before we let go. Does that make sense? Like we, um, Claire and I will, will, we like where we are. And to tell somebody that likes where they're living that, hey, we're going to move. It's like, ah, but why? This is cool. Uh, but then we're usually the first ones in the new place to like uh, mentally settle in or settle down in that house and like, go, oh, okay, this is our new place. This is where we live. This is awesome. Life is good. And then we keep going. So she's, she's the first one to ask why. Uh, and she's the first one to say yay when we moved. Uh, Estelle really didn't, uh, she kind of thought this was a great idea way before the idea even was an official idea. Uh, since she has, well, her friends live that way, just down the road from here. And uh, she uh, she thought this was a great idea. So when we moved in, um, I don't know, well, within this two week span of not posting anything to YouTube, um, we uh, there, was, there was snow. Uh, it's actually rained uh, the last couple of days, so we don't have any snow on the ground now. And we're hoping that we'll get the snow back in a couple of days. We hope. The girls really want it. Um, regardless, though, um, we had a good first couple of days um, just playing around in the snow once we've gotten settled in the house. <laughs> Tomorrow is the last day of October. Uh, there is snow everywhere here. Um, you can see the girls coming back up for our little sledding episode. Actually means a couple of things. A, we're closer to school. We can walk to school or sled or whatever we want to do. We can also drive if it's raining. We do. Um, we're closer to all the great people that we've met. Most of them live in this little town, so we're closer to all these great uh, new friends, which is also cool. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Erica and I, we have a new uh, lunch uh, on our lunch break walk route. We have a new one, which is also fun. So like I said, we're going to be here in Swedish Lapland or the Arctic part of Sweden, the northern part of Sweden, whatever you want to call it, um, for a while. And it'll give us a chance to really explore um, everything there is to see here. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to have a lot of snow coming up, most probably. I mean, they have a lot of snow here. Um, and darkness. A lot of darkness within a week or so, I think. I think about in two weeks, the sun will set and it will not come back up until I think it's January 4th. So that'll be interesting. We'll tell you more about that because I've done some research and I'm kind of looking at what the sun's doing now. It's up for only a couple of hours per day. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how light or how dark it is. Um, I mean, during nighttime from 3 p.m. to 9 a.m. So like that o'clock like it's a lot of hours um it's dark it's nighttime dark um but in between there like the sun isn't officially up but it's still kind of light out so we'll see uh, what it's actually like in december when the sun is not officially 
up. It's just, just below the horizon. It'll be interesting. I'll tell you more on that as, as we do it, as we get through it. It'll be fun. I don't know if I had anything else. I don't think I did. Hope you guys have a great couple of weeks. We'll chat to you soon. See ya.